Masamang mahal natin na kanyang kawangis sa puso't damdamin. Marunong magmahal, umasa at manalig, pagbubukas palad, kalutin niya sa atin. Hinirang ng Ama ang Birheng Maria Bilang ina ng Diyos, bilang ina natin Inang mapagmahal, ina nating gabay Inang maawain, ina nating patnubay Nuestra Señora de Guía, Nuestra Señora de Guía, pagbubukas pala tanging tugon namin. Please stand for the morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary and the Faithful Heart of Joseph, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all the clergy, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of October. For a shared mission, let us pray that the Church continues to sustain a synodal lifestyle in every way as a sign of co-responsibility promoting the participation, communion, and mission shared by priests, religious, and laity. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer to Nuestra Señora de Guía. O gracious and loving Virgin Mary, our Immaculate Mother, the all-powerful Father in His divine plan of redemption has done great things for you. O Mary, full of grace, you were chosen to be the Mother of the Redeemer. Your humility and faith are jewels before the eyes of God. With a singular grace, you became a witness and participant in the unfolding of the mystery of God's love for humanity, revealed in full at the death of Jesus on the cross. From the cross, Jesus gave you to us to be our mother too. Full of confidence, we, your children, come to your loving kindness and are pleading for your maternal intercession to your beloved Son, that we may be sustained with his light in this perilous time that our fidelity to our baptismal identity is constantly being challenged by the world. I humbly implore you to pray for us in our needs, especially if this are for my salvation and for the greater glory of the ever-loving God. O sweet Mary, aid us always in our daily journey. Console us in our afflictions. You who are the first among the disciples of your Son, pray for the Church to remain steadfast in the faith. Guide us to your Son, our risen Lord, who is our way, truth, and the life. Teach us, his disciples, on how to love your Son perfectly and grow in hope that at the end of our pilgrimage on earth, we may be admitted into the Father's house 
in the fullness of life and grace. O Mary, Nuestra Madre e Virgen de Guia, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our votive mass in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Please all stand. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for, for me to, to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore, it says, He ascended on high and took prisoners captive. He gave gifts to men. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended into the lower regions of the earth? The one who descended is also the one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might fill all things. He gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ, so that we may no longer be infants, tossed by waves and swept along by every wind of teaching arising from human trickery, from their cunning in the interest of deceitful scheming. Rather, Living the truth in love, we should grow in every way into him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, with the proper functioning of each part, brings about the body's growth and builds itself up in love the word of the lord thanks be to god let us go rejoicing to the house of the lord let us go rejoicing to the house of the lord i rejoice because they said to me we will go up to the house of the lord and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact humanity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us all stand. pleasure in the death of the wicked man, says the Lord, but rather in his conversion, that he may live.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Some people told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with the blood of their sacrifices. He said to them in reply, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were greater sinners than all other Galileans? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 people who were killed when the tower at Siloam fell on them, do you think they were more guilty than everyone else who lived in Jerusalem? By no means. But I tell you, if you do not repent, you will all perish as they did. And he told them this parable. There was a person who had a fig tree planted in his orchard. And when he came in search of fruit on it, but found none, he said to the gardener, For three years now I have come in search of fruit on this fig tree, but have found none, so cut it down. Why should it exhaust the soil? He said to him in reply, Sir, leave it for this year also, and I shall cultivate the ground around it and fertilize it. It may bear fruit in the future. If not, you can cut it down my friends the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ good morning my dear brothers and sisters yesterday jesus used the knowledge of the people to read the signs of times to teach repentance if we could remember he challenged the people by not only knowing the signs of events but also the signs of repentance oh, yung mga tao marunong bumasa ng mga pananda ng panahon they know when it will rain they know when it will going to be hot Di ba tayo? Alam natin kailan maalinsangan. Alam natin kailan uulan. But Jesus is not only challenging them to know these signs of events, but more so the signs of repentance. As Jesus showed many signs to them, to the people, to bring them to conversion, Ang dami niyang pinakita para magbago, sana sila. Nagpagaling na mga may sakit. Sana yung mga may sakit, nagbago na. No? Naging healthy living na. No? Nagpalayas na mga demonyo. Sana, no mga inalisan ng demonyo, sana, no, hindi na uli gumawa ng masama. Hindi na uli nagpasakop sa demonyo. He taught them with authority. Sana yung mga natuto o yung nakinig sa mga aral ni Jesus nagtanda at natuto. And also, He fed the hungry. Sana yung mga nabusog ni Jesus nagkaroon ng lakas na sumunod kay Jesus. But all these, they failed to recognize the signs of repentance. Pinagaling sila, pero hindi pa rin nagbago. Tinuruan sila, pero hindi pa rin nagtanda. Pinakain sila, pero hindi pa rin. 
tila na busog. These are the signs that people should have known but failed to know. That is why they did not have a conversion. They did not repent. And probably, this is the reason why today, in our gospel, Jesus is directly telling the people to repent or else they will perish. Kapag hindi ninyo pinagsisihan at tinalikdan ang inyong mga kasalanan, mapapahamak kayong lahat. That is the message of Jesus to the people. Hindi na nagpaligoy-ligoy si Jesus sa kanyang mensahe. Kung kahapon, tinuturuan niya magbasa ng signs. Ngayon, aba, wala ng sign-sign. Sige, kung hindi kayo marunong magbasa ng sign, oh, ang mensahe ko, magbago. Talikda ng kasalanan. Ako, ganun ko rin yung style ko eh. No? Direkta po ako magsalita. Kaya, minsan, ay, madalas pala, masakit. No? Pag sinabi kong hindi masarap, sasabihin ko, hindi po masarap. No? Yung iba, no? okay lang. No? Masarap. No? Hindi. Pag hindi masarap, hindi masarap. No? Kilala akong ganun, no? lalo na yung family ko. Pag sinabi kong pangit, pangit. No? Walang paligoy-ligoy. Direct to the point. Hindi na nagpasikot-sikot. And Jesus today, ganun ang ginawa niya. Hindi kayo matuto magbasa ng mga pananda na dapat magbago? Sige, ang sabi ko, talikdan ang inyong kasalanan. Kung hindi, mapapahamak kayo. Kung kahapon, tinuruan niya magbasa ng mga pananda ng pagbabago, ngayon, diretsa at buo na sinasabi ni Jesus magbago at talikdan ang kasalanan. As usual, Jesus used a parable. The parable of the fig tree to emphasize this lesson. Eh ganyan naman si Jesus, nagkukwento muna. Oh, magtuturo pero magkukwento pa din so that the people would really understand. And according to the parable, for three years, the fig tree did not bear any fruit. That is why for the man in the gospel or in the parable, it must be cut down. Sayang nga naman. Sayang ang lupa. Sayang ang space sa lupa. Kung ang puno, walang bunga. Nakakasikip lang sa lupain. Dahil ang punong walang bunga ay walang kwenta. If we could remember, that is an orchard. Sayang. Taniman na lang ng vines. Taniman na lang ng iba pang mga puno. Iba pang mga halaman na pwedeng magbigay ng bunga. Nang sa ganun, may mapapakinabangan. But the gardener, the caretaker, asked for another year. Isa pang taon. Before the tree may be cut down. The gardener said he will cultivate the ground around it and he will fertilize it, hoping that it will bear fruit in the future. Siguro nakiusap ano? Pinipicture ko yung storya ng parable, no? Siguro nakikiusap yung gardener, wag, one year pa, wag mo munang putulin. Bibigyan ko ng pataba. I will cultivate it. Pag hindi na mo nga, sige, saka mo putulin. This is what repentance is all about. It is like a fig tree that is being given another chance. Another chance to redeem oneself. A chance to change. A chance to bear fruit. All of us are like fig trees. We occupy space. Sa bahay, you are a mother. You are a daughter, a son. 
Sa trabaho, you are an employee. You are the boss. Sa simbahan, you are a server. You are a mass goer. We all occupy space. But if we do not bear fruit, we become useless. Sa bahay, kung hindi ka tumutulong, useless. Sa trabaho, kung Facebook ka ng Facebook, useless. Sa simbahan, nagsimba ka pero tulog ka, useless. We occupy space. But if we do not bear fruit, we become useless. And for this reason, we are being invited to change ourselves. The gardener, the caretaker, who's in charge of us, is giving us a second chance, and that is Jesus. We are given a chance to work, to be productive, a chance to renew ourselves and be healthy. Nagulat po ako, ang daming nagme-message sa akin na may cancer. And in this Mass, I promise to pray for you and remember you all. Yes, we ask for God's healing. But hopefully, when you will be healed, it is a sign of repentance. Magsisi na. Kung nagpabaya ka, you are being given a second chance. Magbago. Another chance to live a better life. A chance to start anew and forgive. This is the lesson that Jesus is telling us. We are being given a second chance. So, repent. Magsisi. But we do not only receive second chance, but we give second chance. We give another chance as well to others. Huwag ka lang tumanggap. Ikaw din. Magbigay ka ng second chance. Pagbigyan mo yung anak mo. Pagbigyan mo na yung nanay mo. Pagbigyan mo yung kapatid mo. We give second chance. Pagbigyan mo na yung kaibigan mo kung nagkamali man siya sa'yo. My dear brothers and sisters, it is never too late to take a chance. After all, every day is a chance to be a better future or better person than yesterday. Amen. When people reported to Jesus the tragedy that fell on the Galilean pilgrims and the people killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, Jesus told them to repent. May we put order into our lives while we still have the time and opportunity. In every prayer, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Nature is unforgiving when it strikes and does not distinguish the good from the bad. May we live with our vulnerability and put ourselves in the hands of God. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. The Galilean pilgrims and the unfortunate victims in Siloam were not greater sinners than the rest. May the bad things that happen to some people not make us conclude that they are punished because of their sins. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. May people in power not follow the example of Pontius Pilate by persecuting or killing people whom they deem their critics or enemies. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we use the time of life given us by the Lord as opportunity to change our life and bear good fruits, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the victims of natural or man-made calamities rest in eternal peace of the Lord, and may those who mourn for them be comforted, 
We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, those who seek intercession of Virgen de Guilla, and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who were affected by the typhoon. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, everything on earth has its time and season. May the events in the world and in our lives remind us of the mystery, beauty, and fragility of life, and that we are creatures and do not have the power of controlling everything. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints. And especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mysteries of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today is Saturday, the day of Our Lady, our Blessed Virgin Mother. And we will bless all of you. Sumayin niyo ang Panginoon. At sumayin niyo rin. Iyukupong inyong ulo sa pagbabasbas. Ama naming mapagmahal, sanhin ang pag-ibig mong wagas, ibinigay mo sa amin ang iyong anak na sa amin ay mag-akay sa landas upang kami ay makupkup mong lahat. Igawad mo ang iyong pagpapala sa kanilang pagdalakbay at pagdalayag sa mundong ibabaw. Pigyan mo silang ng nagaalab na pag-ibig at di matitinag na pananalig sa iyo upang ang puso't isip ay manatili sa iyong liwanag na kaloob ngayon at magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. Ipagsanggalang at ingatan mo sila sa mga panganib na dumadaan na sa bawat hakbang ay matapat na sundan ang tanglaw na di mapaparam. Makilala nawa sila bilang mga alagad ni Yesu Kristo san mandako sila mapadpad. Alang-alang sa mga panalangin ni Maria ang aming ina, ang Virhen de Gia, makamit nila ang mga biyaya mong sumasagip ngayon at magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. Sa wakas ng kanilang pagdalakbay dito sa lupang ibabaw, ay ipagkalob mo na kanilang sapitin bilang mga hinirang ang daungan diyan sa iyong piling sa kalangitan at may galak na maumalas ang iyong kaliwanagan, magpa sa walang hanggan. Amen. At pagpalain kayo ng makapangyarihang Diyos, Ama at Anak at Espiritu Santo. Amen. Tapos na po ang ating pagdiriwang humayking taglay ang pag-ibig at kapayapaan ni Kristo. Salamat sa Diyos. Isang ina na nagatid ng pagkasaan sa yakong may hapis sa paglalakbay siya'y gumagabay sa ating pag-uwi may awit siyang hatid tanglaw ka na Kaming nasa dilim At kung may ulos Yung yakap ang angkin Sugat namin ay Agkat pagalingin Turong at gabay Aming baon at aliw Nuestra Señor Amen. 
ang sinisinta, inang dinarangan. 